Hi, it's Carrie. In today's 5-Minute Friday, I'm going to show you how to export references from CINAHL, in this case CINAHL Plus with full text, into EndNote. I've opened up a new library here in EndNote. I'm running version 20.2.1. And if you wanted to open up a new library, which is what they call their files, you can go to File and New. You'll need to name it and save it, and then you'll get this, a blank library. I'm going to go back over to CINAHL Plus with full text and create a simple search. I'll click search and we just get these two. Well, that makes it easy for me. So if we wanted to select just one over the other, we would click the blue plus sign on the top right hand corner of the record and it comes over here into our folder. If we wanted all of our results in case of 30, 40, 50 or more, we would say share and you can add the results in batches. I think different universities have different limits on those batch numbers, so it might be 20 at a time, it might be 100 at a time. We'll click Add to Folder Results 1 and 2. Then they're over here in my Folder View. I'll go to Folder View. And under Folder View, I'm going to say Export. It's over here on the right-hand side, Export. Now we have some options here, and the first one is direct export in RIS format. And you can see here it lists some citation management tools, including EndNote. So that's the one we want. We select that. And then we click Save. What it's going to do is give us a little file called Delivery. And we will go over to EndNote, and we will go up to File, and then Import and then File, and we will choose the file. It's in our Downloads folder. We will select Delivery and Open. Now this is a pretty standard file format of RIS, so you have options here, and the option we want is Reference Manager RIS. We don't have to worry about duplicates or text translation. We can click Import. And there are our two references. Now something else that I've noticed with this later version of EndNote is that you could go directly to you can go directly to your downloads folder. So let me pull that up here. And if we were to double click on the fold on the file itself, it should import into EndNote. There we go. Because we have EndNote open, it knows that we're using an RIS file. And if you click on the file itself, it should import into EndNote. So now we have four references in total. Two are just imported. Of course these are duplicates but just to show you how that works. If you're importing from CINAHL to EndNote, good luck. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.